Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of uterine prolapse. I have got a lot of requests to make this video, but I forgot as always. A 35 years old female patient came with a history of something coming out per vagina. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the transverse and longitudinal section of the uterus. You can see the uterus is low in position. It should be at this level, but the uterus is lying lower than its regular position. If you check here, you can see the fundus and body of the uterus. This is the cervix, which should be well visualized, but it isn't. In normal patients, we can see the vaginal canal as triple echogenic line at this level. But here, you can't see any vaginal cavity here. Actually, the cervical region, which is not well visualized here, is present within the vaginal cavity right now, indicating it as a case of uterine prolapse. Here's the picture. You can see the uterus is not bulky but it is low lying and the cervical region is located within the vaginal cavity causing obliteration of the triple echogenic line of the vagina which is commonly seen in normal patients indicating it as a case of uterine prolapse. Again another picture with demonstration. You can see this is the fundus, this is the body of the uterus and this is the cervix lying within the vaginal cavity obliterating the triple echogenic line of the vagina. So in summary, the uterine body is low in position. The cervix is seen within the vaginal canal obliterating its regular triple echogenic line indicating it as a case of uterine prolapse. Now the take home message. Correlation with the history and looking at the obliterated vaginal lining may help detect prolapse in confusing cases. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.